Hello everyone, welcome to Dennis Simplifies. In this video, we are going to compute the number of times a character appears in a string in C++, but as usual, the algorithm first and then the code. So, let's simplify. Assume there's a function mid with a syntax mid sl mn, where sl a string and mn n are integers. Given that mid sl mn is to return n middle characters of sl starting from the character at position m, write a computer solution that accepts as input a string of characters and output the number of times the particular character appears in the input. So you're going to find the number of times a character appears in a string or a word. So to the algorithm, we'll ask the user to input the length of the word or the length of the string. So you see input length of string. Then now we ask the user to input the string itself. Then now we want to know from the user the particular character he or she wants to find the number of times it appears in the string. So we see input the character. Now you're going to create an empty variable n, which is going to contain or store the number of times the character appears in the string. Then from there, we are going to set a for loop. Now this for loop, you're going to give the character, the, the string the user entered, we are going to give a position to all of them. Now with these positions, the loop is going to check if a character at any of the positions in the string is equal to the character he or she is going to input, then we should increase n by one. So we see for m equals zero to string length minus one, step one. So meaning it to start from, to start the position from position zero, to the string length minus one because we're starting from zero that is why we have the minus one so if i have started from one it will be the m equals one to string length then step one now we are seeing that if the string at position m is equal to the character then n plus plus it should increase n by one now so if the string at any of the positions so if a character at any of the positions in the string is equal to the character they use intended then you should increase n by one n if and then n for now we are going to print our results that the character appears in the string n times let's visualize this one let's take the length of the string to be six so we give six species then the string to be dennis now we will find the number of times the character n appears in dennis so you see the char equals n now we set the n to be zero to be empty now. So in the for loop, we say the m should start from position zero to the string length minus one. The length of the string is six, so string length minus one will be five. So it is to starting m from zero to five. So zero, one, two, three, four, five. Now it is going to run the loop for the first time. On the first time, m will be zero. So to check at position zero, which is d, is d equal to the user's character? No. So it will end four and go back again, increase by one. Now we have m to be one. Is m at one? That means the character e is e equal to the user's character? No. So it will end the loop and come back again, increase m by one. So now m is two. Is the character at position two n equal to the user's character n? Yes. Then you should increase n by one. So you have n equals one. Now you should check again, n four and then increase m by one. Then you have n to be three. Is the character at position 3 in the string equal to the user's character? Yes. So you should increase n by 1 again. So you have n to be 2 now. Now it will increase n by 1 again. Now we have m to be 4. Is the character at position 4 in the string equal to the user's character? No. So it can't increase. Now we increase m by 1 again. And then we have m to be 5. Is the character at position 5 equal to the user's character? No. Then we said the string, the loop should run from m0 to string length minus 1, which is from 0 to 5. Now it has gotten to 5, so the loop ends, and then it prints our results. So by the end of this, we are supposed to get n to be 2, meaning the character n appears in Danish two times. Alright friends, let's take a look at our code in C++. We are going to convert the algorithm to code, and then we see how it runs. In the int main function, I declared the length of string and n to be integers as the question said and then n i initialize m to be zero that is it should be empty then the string as a string and the character as a character then i take the inputs from the user that is the length of the string 
destination itself and then the character the user wants to find the number of times it appears. Then I set the for loop which is going to count the number of times a particular character appears in the string. Given that a character at a certain position in the string is equal to the character the user entered. Then I say end line, you should move to the next line and then print a result that is the character the char appears in the string. Then you should leave a space n times end line. This space is just for readability sake and then we should end our program. System post is greater than zero and then return zero. So let's input some values and see how our code will run. So enter the length of the string, I enter six. Enter the string, I enter Dennis. Enter the character n and it says that on pressing enter via my keyboard, it says that the character n appears in Dennis two times, which is correct, meaning our code is running properly. All right, friends, that's it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Till then, I'll party out.